Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to probably the most basic, basic grasshopper tutorial you guys are ever going to see on YouTube. So if you guys don't know, Grasshopper is a Rhino plugin and what it is, it's uh, a parametric software and you can actually add more plugins to uh, that plugin itself and there's many different plugins for it that you can render with them, uh, you can do different types of design with them as well as you can also do different types of uh, studies such as solar studies or energy efficiency studies kind of like Revit um, and it is honestly not a very user-friendly program and it does facilitate a lot of things for you but it can also make a lot of things more complicated than they have to be um, I haven't really used Grasshopper that much but I do have a very basic understanding of it. Um, I personally like to use a plugin that uh, it's kind of like a bird nesting which is what they used in the Beijing Stadium and I've also used uh, a plugin that creates an exoskeleton um, around the form which I used in one of my projects and today I'm going to teach you guys a very basic uh, thing to do in Grasshopper which is to make uh, a shape and then populate a, a geometry around it so you guys can know for the future and you guys can implement the same uh, script into your own projects so let's get started um, as you guys can see this is Rhino so in order to use Grasshopper all you have to do is type in Grasshopper in the command tab and this should open up now with Grasshopper you can either use the icons that you see right here or you can also use commands like in Rhino but if you type it in as you guys see they come up in Rhino so what you have to do is double click here and type in whatever command you want so first of all let's get started with our shape we're gonna use a sphere and as you guys see right here this is the sphere now, every single command in Grasshopper has its own parameters. So for the sphere, you have the base and you have the radius. So in order to increase those parameters, we use something called uh, number sliders. So let's make one. And by default, the number sliders are always at a minimum of zero and a maximum of one. Now if you guys want to edit those numbers out, all you have to do is right click and you can either go to values or you can edit. Now double click on the max and let's just give it 100. Now as you can see if I plug this in, you drag and drop into the radius and if you move the slider around it increases or decreases the size of that sphere. Now let's say that this is going to be our um, our surface area and we want to populate something around it. So we double click once more and then look for populate geometry. Now in populate geometry you're going to have um, the geometry itself and you can just drag and drop the sphere into it and it'll create a series of points. Now what this means is that for every single point that you have there, if you connect um, the populate geometry um, script into a different shape, then that shape is going to populate itself around this sphere as many times as there are points. Now if you guys want to change the amount of points, or their locations, you do the same thing, you can get your number slider. So if you want to copy and paste this, just click on it, control C and then control V to copy it. And we're gonna copy it twice. We're gonna set one number slider to the amount of points there are, which should be right here in the count. And as you can see, 
it goes up and down so let's put it at its limit um let's actually put it a little higher so let's put it at 200 and let's put it all the way now if you guys want to change uh the location of these points because uh, right here like some of them overlap one another um you drag and drop the number slider into the seating parameter and if you guys can see as you move it around they start moving so now let's pick an object to populate around this geometry and I'm also gonna do a sphere to keep it simple you guys can do your own thing um, this is just a basic tutorial so you guys can know how to create these type of scripts and you guys can use it on your projects later on so double click once more look for sphere um, let's make another number slider and let's make them tiny <laughs> it's really big okay so let's make them um... there we go now if you guys want to make anything solid in Rhino to be able to work with it from Grasshopper, all you have to do is bake it. Now in order to bake, you don't have to bake the whole script. You can just click on this one, which is where the spheres is located. You right click and you click on bake. Now you can set it in a different layer, especially when you're working on a big project, this is very helpful. Um, and you can also group it which I recommend so it's easier to move all of that at the same time so once we bake it here we have it uh, let's move it to the side so you guys can see type in your move command and here you go and here we have uh, the finished product so as you guys can see, if you guys were to do this by hand, it'll take a very, very long time and it probably wouldn't look as perfect as this. Not perfect, but you know, it's like a circle. It's like a perfect circle. Um, so yeah, and it took me probably less than five minutes. So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to give it a like, uh, maybe subscribe. I'll make a feature video which I'll show you guys how to make an actual pavilion and it'll be a lot more intricate. This is just so you guys can get familiar with the program. So yeah, until next time.